And welcome back to episode 51 of A Toy Kind of Mood. You got Travis and Bobby here discussing, um, man, it's the HasLab uh, Rancor set that's coming out. Uh, Trav, first off, how you doing, buddy? I'm I'm good. Uh, didn't need to wake up for this. <laughs> no one did. No one did. Yeah, um, no, no one did. That was the first reaction uh, from Dave's story in the chat from all of us, really. But yeah, he said that, and he's like, "I woke up for this." So yeah. Well, I mean, I mean so we're not look, we're not bashing it by any means. Um, but we just had PulseCon last week, two weeks ago. They've already shown this rancor multiple times uh and and granted they show like the figure in its map but where's where's the updates so i guess the thing is uh and yeah i did back this initially mm -hmm. at the uh pulse con and i've since canceled it actually a few days ago and i heard that the backing just to get right to it is going backwards really the numbers are actually, I, I don't know. I don't have it confirmed. We don't have the numbers in front of us. But when I looked at like some of the Twitter posts and stuff of that, the numbers of backers was going backwards. That's not what Hasbro wanted uh, for sure. So the difference is the last time we saw this at Hasbro PulseCon was it was a digital rendering. Okay. Yeah. This was the model, the actual, we got photography of the actual model. The thing is it just looks the same because it's yeah. still in grayscale. They went into more detail, and we'll we'll talk about that in a second. But as far as like uh, how why the you know the different shades of the grayscale and all that, and they kind of went more into it. But yeah, they absolutely absolutely did not give anything we wanted. No, at all. This was just not a good presentation. Well, at least. And 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 look, it, the the show was thirty minutes on this figure. Mm -hmm. and like okay so last week so for example last uh, during pulse con when we got the uh the the previews of the x-men animated series wolverine and jubilee yes Perfect. we had wolverine in hand but jubilee was you know just this is what it's going to be like digital render yeah Di a digital rendering in color we got to see what the color was at least look like close enough close enough right um, but the wolverine digital rendering and the figure looked very similar you're telling me that we can't get a digital rendering with color and with something yeah um, at least to give us an idea yeah zero paint apps um i mean we'll definitely see that on the next update will we care by then we'll see but the big thing is the we very weak we weak. only saw one stretch goal and it was very weak um but if you want to talk rancor first we can get into that and then we'll go over the stretch yeah goal let's 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 talk about what they what they broke down yeah so first they showed off what you know it's a physical prototype this time not digital as we mentioned so the head sculpt incorporates actual like polyvinyl chloride so it's pvc plastic so basically it's a thermal plastic material used to make wire and cables and stuff like that so some people were concerned about this because it's made different than the arms and the legs that's going to remain the hard plastic that you see on the black series toy so how will it look? That's another thing is we do need the paint apps to see how it looks because when you use two different kind of two, three different kind of plastics, different vinyls on it, it could <laughs> the it looks, shape. Yeah, look, be yeah, off. Bad. Yeah. yeah. People are concerned about that. Um, they also went into the wingspan. So we got a funny meme right on there with uh thanks to Yak Face there with the Michael Jordan. I instantly thought of that too. Uh it's going to be a little too wide for this window here with the wingspan, but otherwise he will fit a detox window if you're I, just like my Scorpionock does down below. So that's cool. But right. um, I don't know. You want to re give off some of the other details that they had? Yeah. So, uh, and this is like possible, you know, uh, remo possible removable drool, which would be cool. Uh, Shut off the articulated jaw. Um, yeah. I was going to say, too bad no one's drooling over this with the uh, Sky Striker Proton back. Boom, boom. Yeah. But. Well, okay. But, and I think once again, with Sky Striker, we saw everything. Every, we, saw every, not, we saw everything, but, but it was all in color. And it was, and the Proton Pack, they did a great job when they like teased it. It was just like the Proton Pack in black and then the 
and like the lighting and all the lights came on. Yep. That was perfect. That was, and once again, it's in color. The, the stretch goal is the being slimed in color. Like we're mm-hmm. seeing the stretch goals more than just like, here's a gray. It's, it's boring. It's not exciting anyone. I think that's where Hasbro was like really fumbling the ball right now. Yep. So, all right. So we saw, we saw that, you know, and, we'll, and well, again, the well, possibility, like, well, you might get this. Yeah. You yeah. might. Sky, Sky Striker, like here, here's tier one, tier two, tier three. You want all this? And, yeah. and everyone, like here, take my money. It's almost okay. like they're unsure they even want to make this thing. Um, so I mean, they're they seem exuberant and excited and stuff yeah. on the on the on the panel, but it's like, man, it's a, maybe it's too early to you know. But they're but we talked about this. Hasbro's a corporation; they want all the fiscal dollars in there. You know, the right. annual fiscal revenue to come in before the end of the year that's why you see the has labs are funded by the end of the year around christmas just before christmas or by the end of the year is because they want to show off to the you know the uh what do you call it the stockholders and everything yeah the fiscal money that they made so of course when they're charging you know has lab 350 300 250 for the different has labs and they got backers they can include that into you know what and because of course they charge you as well at the end of the year so they want to show that so that's the so they're rushing you know they're basically rushing this stuff they, I think. they are rushing it but yeah. as i don't think it'll be that hard to give us a color palette no no and yeah and and like yeah they are excited because this is you know the the, the pet project this is the baby and that's great they should be excited about it however ooh, we're not seeing all the behinds. Like they're seeing all the behind the scenes stuff. Like, oh, this is gonna, this could happen. This could happen. Great, show us. Well, they were saying on the stream, and we don't know if it's the truth or not. That this is they're seeing it kind of real time with us too. Is like the physical model and grayscale. That's kind of like what they have. They don't even have it painted. Hence the rush before the end of the year, right? So we're getting. I mean, yeah, we're we just hit November, and so you're still looking at I think about forty days. 30 something days before this needs to be back. So there is time, but people are getting, you know, with lack of stimulus checks, lack of work, lack of jobs. We're still in a pandemic of you yeah. have other has labs out at the same time that people are interested in. So it's a big deal. But uh, yeah, if you want to get back into it, yeah, that articulated yeah. jaw does look cool. So it does yeah. fit like the shoulders and head and shoulders of the storm. Actually, a stormtrooper can fit almost half of it. Uh, almost wish it was a Patrick Snyder head sculpt so he could stick him in the fucking rancor. <laughs> that would be a great stretch goal. I'd back that shit. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we kind of missed him on this panel. Uh, but yeah, you want to talk tier one? The only sure. tier we saw. Because so tier one, you get a Power of the Force carded Black Series Gamorian Guard. And as you put nearly unchanged, maybe yep. some, and then, so it's a repack. It's a repack, and you need 11,000 backers for this. So I think they want nine, 9,000 for the Rancor. So at another 2,000, which doesn't seem like a lot. And, you know, of course, I think if they get nine, they'll definitely get 11. Um, it seems to be like a lot of a lot of people don't think this is going to get backed, and a lot of veterans of the Hasbro game are like, everything gets backed because the last three days is when there's a rush for it. You know, so yeah, maybe I- it's, it's resellers could be – are pretty much a lot of them are the ones backing this thing. Backing. Let's not lie because you're like, they're not going to back it now. But when they see the hype in the last three days, they're like, ah, at worst, I'll sell it for cost. That's how scalpers think. That's how eBayers think is like, at worst, I'll get my money back. And at best, I could make double, triple, whatever. So right. speaking of that, you could sell this. I mean, I'm not telling you to. I'm just saying, <laughs> hey, some toy influencers surprised me today with their tweets. I was like, wow, they went there. They were like, yeah, you could sell this carded repack Gamorian Guard. Someone will pay 80, 90, 100, 150 for it. And then your 350 Haslab could be 200 bucks. That is true. That is true. Yo, I just did that with Ponda Bo- Baba mm-hmm. and uh, Dr. Evazon. Look, they're characters I don't really care about and they're coming out. So, yeah. you know, we'll talk Black Series in a minute, figures, but the box, I love the box art, the panel art, right? So I, lo- I love this. So right. I want all of these. I'm all in, right? I'm not going to lie. I want all those. So if they're going to come out like that, of course, I'm going to sell them loose and make 80, 90 bucks. 
and the cantina was 105. So see how cheap that is now. So that, yeah, you could play that game with this HasLab yeah. and I could see it selling based just because people are like, oh, I'll just sell, I'm going to sell that carded stretch goal. Yeah, and then you saw it with uh, the uh, the Sentinel and with Galactus, people are already yep. flipping their, their, their stretch goals. Yeah, uh, and then of course. Then, then, of course, you get the shiny coin, so... <laughs> Like the carbonized uh, collection or with the car the coin collection or whatever. I don't know is a they keep doing this repack stuff. But I what do you how do you feel they would never do this, Robert? But man, what if they just said we look in a special bonus? We understand the timing of this with the pandemic. We thought three fifty was a great price, but we want to please people and go maybe go to two ninety nine. 285 would be i don't see them ever doing that but no. even knocking it down 50 bucks just to ensure they did back this i don't know i don't i don't think it'll happen corporations have bigger egos they would rather not sell it but i don't know i think that would have been like that would have saved this presentation for me just knocking yeah, it down I think 50, if they 50, dropped 50, the price yeah i agree i agree i think if they go you know what because of the fact that a, a lot of house labs yeah you, you want this house lab and we think that you know you'll get it but because we are still you know at this juncture time money whatever um 50 bucks off 299 uh i think you would see those those, those backers going back up because yes it's 50 bucks but saying 299 as opposed to 350 it just, the it, it just it it rolls off the tongue just a little easier Right, and then if it hits its stretch goals, three hundred dollars is a is a is a great deal. Um, yeah. and then uh, the thing is, people are posting like tweeting. I know you get a lot of trolls and haters and stuff. They're like, "Oh, I'd pay one seventy five. I'd pay one fifty. This could be in Target." And I do, you know, I there's a, they're putting a lot into this figure. Like we went over like the different kind of plastic, right. different molds. Like this is an expensive thing, and they want to make they want to make sure it's not a warmer like some of their other big black series, you know uh vehicles and stuff like that so i kind of get the price especially if they meet the stretch goals but i mean 300 it would be fair 285 would be a deal but yeah i yeah 350 right now with the other ones are cheaper just, it's just too much it's right too much. now the holiday it's a little much but yeah i, mean, I want to do whiskeys uh real quick yeah but, but you're right because galactus is like three feet and it's just 50 bucks more and you get more yeah. So, no, I think, foot, I think two, 300 uh, would have been fair. Oh, whiskeys, uh, two. Okay. Oh, two. man. I almost, oh, now I feel like, because I make fun of you so much for this, I, I, I'm going to say one and a half. I was going to say one, but I don't want to do that now. One and a half whiskeys. I'm going to just give it a half just because um, they they really are putting a lot of work into the texture, the skin, it really is a cool, yeah. the Rancor is fucking awesome. Like yeah. the jaw being able to have half a Black Series figure in there, the scale is awesome. We've got all kind of pictures on the screen right now, yeah. just how it looks next to the Stormtrooper, next to the Gamorrean Guard. Um, yeah, it looks and, cool, and but that's it's not it, giving us enough yet. And that's why I gave it a two is these, you know, the, the sculptors, they're, they're, they're putting in their work. They're, they're trying to get this done. And, and that's why it's two. But honestly, if, they weren't as excited about this and i and i knew you know i would i would i drop to one i why this is just yeah. be, like look i'm i'm yeah th th people are putting their heart and soul into this i get this but that stretch goal i mean i want to drop it to one and a half just for that stretch goal like mm. no no and drop it to one and a half we'll both do one and a half <laughs> there we go we'll All right, hey let's talk black series though because this let's wasn't a bad week for star wars man we had a lot of great cool leaks news reveals whatever so let's do it all right so uh the christmas stormtrooper oh no the holiday figure found in walmart look when i saw it when i first saw it in uh, online i'm like oh it's really cool i'm gonna get one yeah cool and then i saw one in hand i'm like mm, putting it back <laughs> it's just i maybe no i'm not 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 even this year like i, I look i've look i've got christmas christmas themed pops i've got the flash you know running around a christmas tree like i've i love christmas it's my favorite time of the year yeah no well if they did thanksgiving 
uh, you know, Thanksgiving stormtroopers. <laughs> I would do it with a big turkey. Uh, That'd be cool. Maybe That'd throw be the cool. turkey at the Rancor. Let him eat it. There you uh, go. But but yeah, no, I'm absolutely time. not doing. I'm all in with Black Series. With I told you the, you know, the yeah. full packaging. But I don't buy a lot of the archive figures. I don't buy the re, a lot of the repaints or repacks yeah. unless absolutely necessary. So, absolutely not. That's those stormtroopers. Those were the most laughable figures. I think they had them on our worst figures of 2020. And I remember Vlad was going crazy over them. So yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, uh, then we got uh, reveals for the uh, speaking of Walmart, right? The exclusive. Yep. That, uh, how do you say his name? Is it Gennady Tartakovsky? Yeah, G- Gennady. Gendy, I think it's Gendy Tartakovsky. Yeah, Tartakovsky. Yeah, the original Black, uh, the original uh, Clone Wars, the macro series, yes. whatever you want to call it. So it was a uh, Cartoon Network. But yeah, we got Grievous, General Grievous, yep. Mace Windu, and the Ock Trooper. Now, Bobby, these look nothing like the cartoon. <laughs> they don't, and I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, why Sam Jackson, <laughs> Mace Windu, with just repainted clothes yeah so. i mean i've got i've got my clone troopers over there and i mean my my i've got my anakin and and obi-wan and um right like it's the same thing it's ob it's it's you and mcgregor's head on the clone wars body so yeah they're not going full cartoon you know why because it costs a lot of money to make that head sculpt and yeah you know, which only can use once so yeah it's a repaint repack i think they look cool in the packaging i yep. do have there is a place in my heart for the original clone wars i've already pre-ordered them i'm getting them I'm not even going to unpack them why i've already got yeah, yeah, he's probably behind me somewhere in my room. I've already got the Sam Jackson Mace Windu. I don't need it again. And Grievous is a straight up repaint, even though it is pretty accurate. The re- yeah. the, the paints are accurate to the cartoon. They do look cool, but as far as the sculpts, they're just they're just you know reuse. So I won't lie, I won't lie. I might get that Mace Windu just to put him with my Obi Wan like card stock wise. And uh, Grievous, I don't have Grievous, so if I find him in the wild, yeah. sure. But all right, sure. so that. That's, yep. that's, that's, that's a, we'll see, we'll see how they look in hand. Yeah. All. all right. Now we have new waves revealed by Hobby Base. Mm-hmm. We've got Bib Fortuna, which we talked about already. Right. But we actually get to see the actual figure now in the box. Cause I think True. before it was Pulse Con or Pulse 1027 premium show where they were kind of showing like the art, you know, the cool artwork and stuff, but we actually see a Appreciate picture of someone having these. And I believe it's over in like China and Taiwan or something yeah. like that. Before, yeah, we saw the Bib Fortuna, the, the Jedi uh, Stormtrooper, Storm uh, the Boba Fett. Monk Boba Fett, yeah. Monk Boba Fett, yes. Uh, the Migs Mayfield. Mayfeld, right? Mayfeld, yeah. With yeah. your uh, boy from Baston. Uh, Princess Leia Organa. Right, so this week you can actually get that figure right now, at least on pre-order. I think uh, Power of the Force carded, but dude, twenty nine ninety nine for that. I think I'll wait and pay twenty two ninety nine for you know the boxes. I I'm, like anyway. I yeah, I'm gonna that. pulse real quick to just see what what's. Yep, she is available for pre-order for thirty bucks. No, thank you. Yeah, I'll I'll you. but you know, if you Power of the Force is you know your thing, you know, I see. Uh, K wish had a lot of those. He's flipping, but uh, yeah, if that's your thing, you're gonna want all the cards. I yeah. canceled all of mine. I don't even think the repaints are that good, so uh, I, I'm gonna just stick with the regular Black Series yeah. uh, packaging. Uh, yeah, I, I got, let me just see if this is. No. And then we got uh, Panda Baba. Yep. Doctor Evazin. So yeah, those two, as I mentioned earlier, came with the Cantina Showdown set that was uh, a yes. PulseCon exclusive. So again. If you bought those and you collect the packaging, this is okay. This is an okay flip. It's not like right. we're, we're promoting scalping, but like if you love the box, do you need two? They're the same figure. There's no repaint. There's no, it's the same thing, same accessories. If you love the packaging, collect the boxes and you like to like show it off in a little display, get rid of them, throw them yeah. on eBay. Even if you get 20, 30 bucks for it, it'll pay for the one that you want. So the book of Boba Fett, Fennec Shand. So you saw, what do you think of all these images we saw? Like, they're pretty awesome, right? I love it. Yeah. I actually loved how her figure came out. Yeah, and it's crazy because it doesn't exactly look like Ming Na Wen, but, like, she loved it. I mean, I think it's just a great face sculpt, even though it's not exactly, like, 100% her. It's a great, it's a solid-looking uh, figure. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah it, it's great. So sometimes... 
with photo real, you don't need exact accuracy. Like we mentioned, Mayfeld isn't even really that close. But if it's a good figure and it's still a good representation, I think that's how people came over to, you were talking about Clone Wars. Yeah. So that Anakin doesn't even look like the cartoon and it doesn't look like Hayden Christensen, but it's still a good face sculpt. It's kind of like a mesh of the two. It would have been better to have probably one or the other, but yeah. if it's a well done figure, it doesn't have to be a hundred percent photo reel either. It just has to look good. It has to like look good. good it has to be a, they're, they're toys. You have to be a good representation of the figure, at least decent. And this is a really good one. Exactly. Uh, and then, and then we haven't. Uh, it's been revealed, but not this wave. Werner, uh, Werner Herzog's the client. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really cool. It's funny. I mean, I think it'll be a total warmer, just like you know the other some of the other Mandalorian figures. But because I think he's he's got a he definitely definitely has a lot of fans, but it's a very cult audience. Like people yes. are like I definitely want a Werner Herzog, Herzog uh, figure, you know, but Nostrofu, but. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just don't, it's not, you know, it's not a Mandalorian actual, you know. <laughs> right. It's, it's not old Mandalorian. Not, it's, it's not Mando. I'm, I'll probably pass on him. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, so so that's, so what would you, what would you give these in hand? Would you have a whiskey score for these? Oh, well, no, I usually only do whiskey scores for presentations, but I mean, I like what we got. I yeah. like what, I think that, yeah, totally killing it. I mean, I would give it a strong four whiskeys if I had to rate it, but okay. I didn't know we were rating leaks now. <laughs> it's probably my fault because I like to rate things, but you want to do some, uh, I got some quick plunder I just want to show since right. I unpacked these. Let's do it. So yeah, here we go. Ah, that's awesome. Hold on. I suck at doing this. Yes, you do. There we go. Oh, it's because I'm too impatient. There you go. Someone said it looks like Kevin Pollock. Ah, it does but he should have came with a cowboy hat since he's deluxe but he does come with a cool helmet um yeah as you can see he's got a beer in his hand that's part of the cantina showdown and then uh this is the packaging so what a disaster this was to try to open look at this thing oh my god it was like yeah yeah they were all over the place so yeah, i keep see, I, 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 I have mine coming in i think it's in february so yeah but that's awesome you know, Hey, but you did get Venom. Before. I did get it. I did get it. Yes. Yeah, way before me. Mine's like delayed in Georgia. So then I already showed off the Rex uh, boxing. But uh, man, you know what? I was going to pass on this, dude. But look at that. If if it'll ever work. Nope. Back, back it up a bit. Why does it not work for me? I have a hey. Oh, here we go. It takes a long time. I have a nice Ooh, camera. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, look. Really cool. So uh, Dave said... He's got problems with the hood. I had to mess with it for a long time. It won't, it wouldn't just sit on it. I think they, we have the same problem, but I somehow did it enough where the hood and, and so on this, almost like a, right here, it came folded. So it's creased. You almost have to have some kind of like mini iron. It's all probably hard to tell there, but the, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was creased, dude, like folded almost like this. I was like, his skirt was creased. Huh. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is a really, I was going to pass because I already got Rex, but I'm glad there was a restock the other night because is this nice. is a really nice soft goods, really great, really well done. Um, and the fact that he does have the head sculpt, you can have the other Rex with the helmet with your clone troopers and then keep this one hanging out with Bad Batch. So yeah, nice. of course, you know, and it's, it feels like a new visor to me too than the other one. So let's see, I don't want to break this thing <laughs> on the air right yeah. but yeah that that's cool there we go that looks Man. badass hey travis it only took 51 episodes but now you can finally there you go show stuff but yeah this is a this is a great figure i know it's a it's a repack and yeah. readjustment but no it's 30 bucks definitely way overpriced but it's part of that bad batch collection got to be all in i'm still waiting for an imperial um crosshair as well that restock earlier and I, yeah. there was no alert for it and it was gone by the time i got it it's just a straight up repaint i think dave uh spoke about that he just said like yeah they didn't really add much they still even had the bad batch patch on like even though he's an imperial so kind of weak but still want it just because i'm a completist when it comes to the boxed Fair enough. but that's it bobby nice man did you did you want to see my plunder real quick is it star wars plunder it's not star wars plunder it's just that bad boy right over there it's not Star Wars themed, so I don't want to see. <laughs> you just don't want to see it because you don't have it yet. All right. 
So that is episode 51. Our Star Wars has not lab. <laughs> I already unboxed this bad boy. Find it on TikTok on Instagram. Hey, there you go. TikTok. There you go. Um, uh, yeah, that uh that was it 51. Uh quick to the point. And um, you know what? Let's hope that the next time we see the Rancor, we've got tier one or tier two, tier three, a mm-hmm. paint job. And you know what? Let's see what we got. Yep. So all right. I'm, o- I'm okay with just the sky striker. <laughs> <laughs> just save that money. Bye guys. Peace.